Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain one of the data production options available for Azure Blob Storage. So this video will be a concept only video where I'll talk about what is immutable storage, what are the different immutable storage policies which can be applied on Azure Blob Storage and what are their scopes. And finally, I'll shed some light on the limit and retention of these immutable policies. So let's check all these concepts one by one. First of all, what is immutable storage? The data when marked as immutable cannot be modified or deleted. And the concept behind immutable storage is that it should be written once and can be read multiple times. So due to any regulatory compliance like finance or healthcare, once a data is written, it should not be deleted or modified. Then that data should be marked as immutable. And that is the purpose of immutable storage. So in short, the data in the immutable storage cannot be modified or deleted. It can only be read for the specified duration of time mentioned in the policies which are applied for the immutable storage. If we'll talk specifically about the immutable storage in Azure Blob Storage, there are two immutable policies which can be assigned. Time-based retention policies, legal hold policies. Let's cover both of these policies in detail. Time-based retention policies. As the name suggests, time-based retention policies allow the users to store the data for a specific duration of the time. And during this time, the data cannot be modified or deleted. And once the data is created, it can be read multiple times. And during the configuration of this policy, you have to define the retention period of the data. And during that retention period, the data will not be modified or deleted. So first time when you apply the time-based retention policy, the policy is in unlocked state. So that means it's for testing purpose. So once the policy is in unlocked state, the data cannot be modified or deleted, but the duration of the policy can be decreased or increased. However, once you are confirmed how long you want to keep the data, then you can lock the policy. So once the policy is locked, you can neither delete or remove the data or delete the policy itself. So now let's move on to legal hold policies. So legal hold policies are similar to time-based retention policies. In this case also, data is marked as immutable for a specifically defined duration of the time. In this case too, the data can be created and read but not modified or deleted. And it is applied mostly for the legal or regulatory compliances. The difference between time-based retention policy and the legal hold policy is that legal hold policy can be removed before the specified duration. However, once the time-based retention policy is applied and logged, the policy even cannot be deleted or removed. Now both these policies are applied at a different scope level. So there are two different scopes. One is container level policies. Another one is version level policies. Let's first start with the container level policies. So container level policies support WOM, which is write once, read many. And this policy is applied at the container level, which means once the policy is applied at the container level, so automatically this policy is applied on all the blobs. This policy is supported by general purpose V2, premium block blob, and the legacy storage also. And the policy is applied at the container level, it's in unlocked state. But once the policy is logged, then the changes cannot be done on the policy. And you have to set a retention period during the implementation of these policies. Next one is version level policies. As the name suggests, it depends on the version of the blob. But this policy is more granular and can be applied at account level, container level, or the version level. So if the policy is applied at the account level, automatically all the containers and the specific version of the blob stored in those containers will have this immutable policy implemented. And there are multiple version level policies can be applied on the different version of the blobs. Because it's a version level policy, so you need to have blob versioning enabled for these policies. And these policies can be applied to the new storage account as well as an existing storage account too. Now, if we'll discuss the scope and application of these policies, as I have already explained, the container level policy is applied at the container and automatically all the blobs will have that policy applied. And you don't need to enable the version control in the case of container level policy. However, in the case of version level policy, you need to first enable the versioning on the blob storage and then it can be applied on the storage account, container, or the blob versions. And both of these policies ensure the data integrity and the regulatory compliance. And finally, let's cover the limits and retention of these policies. 
So these policies can be applied on maximum of 10,000 containers per account. Here the per account is per storage account. If the immutable policies are applied, that means you cannot even delete the containers or the storage account. And in the case of the locked retention policies, you cannot remove the policy, you cannot decrease the retention of the policy. However, you can extend the retention period for these policies. And the time-based retention policies can be applied from one day to 400 years, which is 146,000 days. And the retention period for the legal hold policy is indefinite. Until the policy is applied, immutability will be maintained. And once the policy is removed, you can modify or delete the blobs, even delete the container and the storage account. So to summarize this video, we have first discussed what is immutable storage, then discuss the two different policies, which are time-based retention policy and legal hold policy. Both these policies have two different scopes, container level and version level. And finally, we discussed about the limits and retention of these policies. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.